Well, I grew up in a really tough community in the Alamo Sinusha, in the Caribbean. And I remember when we were growing up, all we had was sports, in particular football. Um, I've lost two cousins, two neighbors, through gun violence or drugs. Uh, with that said, I was really lucky to get an opportunity to come to the U.S. to go to school and live. Um, so I wanted to start a project that would help these kids who are born into these circumstances through no fault of their own uh, to help them to find another path out of that particular circumstance. The goal of the Freakick Foundation is to provide an alternate path for these kids born in economically depressed areas. Um, we will start off in St. Lucia where we will test our model and then we'll move on to a bigger island like Trinidad or Jamaica where we could reach out to these kids and show them that there's a different way of getting out of their circumstance. And I believe that the Freakick Foundation can do that. While most foundations provide a service or even a product, uh, there's really a follow-up uh, with, with the recipients of these services. Um, we at Free Kick Foundation, we, we plan to reach out to these kids from the moment they enter high school and be with them and provide them various types of support through high school. And then after high school, we, we plan on being with them to help them find a job, um, even help them get university scholarships so that they could further their education and make sure that they integrate into society and, and become productive members of society. Success for the Free Kick Foundation would be we could produce one lawyer, one doctor, one pilot, one policeman, one woman. Um, we believe that Yes, the opportunity is there for these dreams to come true, but the odds will be a lot lower without a foundation 